Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So I have already told you that I have left Walmart. When I said this, people on LinkedIn have asked me that Praveen, how you have cracked Walmart as a DevOps engineer three, right? So today I'll be sharing you my entire interview experience and what were the questions that were asked to me what was the interview pattern, how uh, the people caught me that I was telling lie in the interview, all those things I'm going to reveal. And I will be also telling you that how to overcome that when you are putting something lie in your resume. But when I told you as a lie, it means that you have to do hard work, right in your learnings project, but you would have not worked in real time project. That's what I'm telling as lie. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is applicable for everyone, but those who are keeping like this, make sure that you watch this video till the end. Now let's get started guys. So Walmart was my dream company when I was working in Verizon. It was one of my dream company and I'm very much thankful to Cherma Rajan brother from Verizon because he has joined Walmart at that time as a UI uh, engineer and he recommended me that yeah, uh, Walmart is one of the top product based company in India and the packages are awesome, right? And he also told me that the employee benefits are really cool. Uh, you get mobile phones, free uh, Ford, free cab, uh, reimbursements, health insurance, so many things and that's what fascinated me to join Walmart and from then onwards I started preparing for Walmart even like you I searched so many videos but I couldn't find exactly for DevOps engineers I was I was able to get your um, your front end back end those kind of interview experiences but not on DevOps so stay tuned till the end so watch the video so today I'll be telling you like how my Walmart journey was guys so Walmart when I applied to, to Walmart, I got two rejections. Then I thought like, okay, let's try something different. So what I did was I created three email IDs and I put in three types of resumes and I asked one of my friend like Cherma Rajan to apply into the portal. Another friend I have asked him to apply onto the portal with other email ID and the third friend also I have did the same. I have asked her to apply on the portal. Now among these three people, one of the position that Cherma Rajan has applied, I got the call and the HR told me that Praveen, this is for uh, DevOps engineer three position. So basically SDE three, are you interested? So I quickly said, yes, boss, I am inter interested because it is my dream company and you are calling from a dream from my dream company. So what I did, uh, did is I said yes with a confidence and he asked me some questions, right? So these kind of HRs from top product based companies, they try to judge you on the call itself because they don't want to waste your time. So he gave me a list of uh, tools like tool number one, get Kubernetes, Jenkins, Docker, Maven, Ansible. So Praveen, tell me from zero to 10, what will be your scale of rating under each of these tools? So I said everything like seven to eight and always don't underestimate when an HR is asking you. There can be chances that you might get failed in the first uh, HR round itself because if you give six, five, six, five, six, five, then people will not take you. So you have to give above seven and uh, don't go for nine. Also seven to eight is a good medium uh, 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 score that you can give to the HR. Now, once your HR gets screened in, like your HR feels confidence about you, then what it does is he shares some of the interview links to get preparation. So if you are someone, check out the links in the description and make sure that you are going through networking concepts, Kubernetes concepts and other uh, free resources also. And one more thing guys, I have started Prime Batch 8.0 specifically for DevOps and engineers, those who are from non-IT. Uh, domain change freshers and people who are looking to crack these kind of companies. Now I have kept 14 projects in this. I have kept uh, your mock interviews, resume reviews. Along with that, you will get real time hands on projects, which I had in Walmart. So what are you waiting for? If you are someone looking to enroll today, then check out last 15 seats are there for the people to enroll in this class. So you will be with me for the next two months, uh, July, August and September. And we will be learning DevOps and SRE core concepts. And I'll be sharing you my entire experience, confidence and the power to give you the job, right? And also you can check the testimonial placement stories. Also, uh, the, all the links are in the description and 70% off is still running. Uh, so many people have asked, so we have extended it. So you can enroll yourself with 70% off. Now going on to the Walmart interview experience. So first round was with Akshay. So Akshay was my technical lead in Walmart. So he took my interview for one, one and a half hour. And meanwhile, uh, while uh, the interview was going on, uh, Akshay had the manager also uh, uh, called Akshay, uh, 
sorry, Akshay called uh, the manager also and he also joined uh, the call and he was uh, carefully listening like what type of answers I am giving, how confident I am and what type of skills I acquire, right? So in this interview round one, Akshay has primarily focused on Kubernetes, CI CD concepts, your automations, your Jenkins. Along with that, he has also asked like Ansible, your uh, little bit of uh, certificates related things, how these certificates get renewed and all those things. And he made sure that Yes, this guy has the confidence to clear any task if given the task and few of the questions I was not able to answer, but still he gave me the chance of moving to the second round. I'll be very honest with you. He was one of the very good uh, lead I got because he gave me the power to crack the first round. So very honestly, I'm telling I was not uh, that much good at uh, uh, Kubernetes in, when I was working in Verizon. So what had happened was at that point of time when I sat in the interview, he asked me like how the Kubernetes service talks with the pod. So I couldn't answer. So what he told is, okay, Praveen, no issues. You do the Google and tell me the uh, answer. So I was very surprised and I told in the interview also, thanks a lot Akshay for giving me this. And I was, I did Google, I told him the answer. So that's how different types of interviewers have their perspective. Even I do this. Once uh, I learned from this uh, Akshay because uh, no one is like low or more powerful, right? Everyone has the ability to crack the jobs. Everyone has the ability to uh, go over the things. So that's why he gave me the chance. Now coming on to the second round, the second round was done by Binish from USA. So uh, after two, three days, uh, I didn't got a call from HR after the first round. So I called him. He, Jaslin, can you tell me like why? Uh, uh, can you tell the status of my interview first round? So he said like, okay, Praveen, yes, I am yet to get update for the next day. He came uh, to me and he said like, okay, Praveen, you have got selected in the first round. Now your uh, candidature is moved to the second round. So second round is from USA. So Binish will be doing your interview. So I was surprised like, okay, second round uh, USA. So he gave me two slots, 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. So I selected 10 p.m. And I was very confident that uh, I will make it clear. So when Binish joined, right, initial 15 minutes of the second round in Walmart was like very friendly conversation. So Binish joined, I was there in the interview, uh, interviewer, I was sitting uh, on the other side. So he asked me all the things about uh, my me, what I'm doing, what are my roles and responsibilities, what are the challenges that I've faced in the projects, what kind of skills I acquire, what kind of projects I have done in Verizon, what kind of achievements I have made, what kind of certifications I have done in Verizon. So he judged my leadership qualities, my ability to work on a task and then the actual story starts. For the next 45 minutes, he screwed me literally because he asked most of the things from Kubernetes and I already told you from the first round itself, I was not able to give the answer. So second round was also on Kubernetes. So at that point of time, I had uh, knowledge. I have also done uh, Kubernetes uh, training certification from one of the institute. Uh, uh, that institute name is... Uh, uh, I'm not remembering, maybe I will give in the description, but I've done from there and I got good knowledge from the Kubernetes, but not on the real time. So the, that's where uh, the point I was lacking and uh, Binish told me like, hey, you have not worked on Kubernetes, but I was like, no, no, Binish, I have worked on Kubernetes. I have worked on the Kubernetes. Yes. And these all things we have done, CICD implementation, integration, deployments on the Kubernetes. But yes, he found me because he was very experienced guy. He found that I didn't work and I am uh, doing some makeup there. But yes, only Kubernetes, I had the lag guys. But rest all things here, I have done in Verizon. I got five awards in Verizon. My manager, two of the managers gave me, one director also gave me the award. So all these things, any manager, when he's selecting the candidate, he will definitely see our Yes, this guy has the potential to do it. And he gave me the feedback also like Praveen, you are you have to become a little bit strong on Kubernetes. And even I accepted that. So like that, the second round happened and I waited for two days and I called again, Jaslin, Jaslin, yeah, please give me the update for second round. He said like Praveen, 50, 50 chances are there. That's what uh, the USA person have told. So I need one more day. So why they take time is basically you don't need to panic because they will select the best people to their team. They just not like, yaar, aajau, aajau, sab aajau, main package de dunga. Nahin. They need the best people and most of the interview questions will be from networking, Linux, your Kubernetes, Jenkins, CICD, Ansible, your Docker, uh, uh, Docker, then your shell scripting, Python scripting and also a little bit of automations were given like Python. You will mostly concentrate on REST API automations and all those things. So I have given set of questions also just uh, check down in the in the below description. You will get all those details. Now moving on to the third round. So what had happened was after two days, I called again Jaslin and Jaslin said like, okay, you are moved to the third round. Now my manager was there, Uday. So these all people I literally owe guys because uh, these are the people who have selected me and I literally uh, a huge respect to everyone, a huge thanks to everyone. If you are watching the video, um, I would uh, literally uh, uh, touch everyone's feet. Even my manager Uday, so lovely uh, person he is. He is so supportive. My entire team loves him like anything like 
uh, and uh, thanks Uday if you are seeing this video thanks a lot okay uh, right so Uday was the third person who gave me the opportunity and uh, there are also some docker questions I was not able to answer and then he completely first 30 minutes was on DevOps next 30 minutes was on completely on uh, your uh, leadership qualities the, he asked me some questions like if your friend is in the situation of not uh, completing the project what will you do if you are given a negative feedback from your manager what will you do if you are not completing a task in deadline what will you do if you are in a, pro a production uh, system you have to find the RCA what are the steps that you will perform so these are some of the questions which he bombarded out of his two questions I didn't told uh, most of the questions I was able to answer so again after this also like uh, I waited for a few more days for the feedback and every time like uh, I was waiting for Jocelyn to call me but again I, I used to call so what you have to do is simple things you always have to make a note in your uh, notebook or your laptop that whom you are calling when you are calling when you are when is your interview scheduled and all those things so that uh, the person who is seeing you uh, and uh, when you are getting giving the interview also you don't forget that yeah iska interview diya tha follow up karna hai ki nahi even for any interview i used to give one day gap and the next day i used to call so that's how you need to chase the hrs also like a dog okay so until and unless you get the offer letter you have to chase but yes after the offer letter you get it's your choice uh, whether you join or not but yeah literally i am telling guys walmart is one of the best 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 company and if walmart is a girl i would <laughs> definitely uh, maybe uh, propose her also so that's how itna pyar karta hu main walmart se to aap samajh lijiye kya hai why i left walmart that's a completely different story it was uh, other things that i was planning so i i had to quit so but yeah everything is good as of now so uh, i i uh, i uh, whatever I am here because of you guys and because of uh, God and Walmart. So thanks again. Uh, if you have any doubts regarding any interview experience, if you are not getting motivation, if you are facing like, okay, I'm not able to complete anything, just comment down. I'll be helping you the best. So what are you waiting for? Prime by J. is started. You can register yourself and see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.